Okay. Mark, just uh, overall, what are the expectations uh, for the team coming into the season? Well, I think uh, we're definitely in a in rebuilding year, uh, especially with the system that was run last year is, is so much unlike the system that we'll run this year. So we're going through some growing pains right now of uh, relearning our defense and and our strategies on offense, and we're coming little by little each day. Uh, our numbers are down. We you know only have nine players, so that uh, is down a little bit from in the past, uh, and it's really tough to scrimmage with just nine. I know last year uh, guys finished really strong. Um, is that you feel like that's bringing some momentum going into the season for you guys? Well, I think. What, what it really did was it, it showed the character of the, the kids that uh, they wanted to fight and they, they wanted to win and it, and it just took uh, the expectations of uh, discipline and hard work and, and uh, the kids responded to that in those last few games of the year and, and I thought uh, you know that definitely helped us this summer when I took them to uh, one camp I was able to make with them uh, I, I saw that difference in their attitude. Uh, who are some of the key returners that are going to be back for you guys this year? Well, definitely Nate Bryans is a returner. He was first team all conference, uh, averaged uh, I think somewhere around 14 points is what I've read in the paper. Uh, obviously, I didn't keep all the stats on that. Cody Lundemulder, another senior, uh, played quite a bit last year. Uh, should help us out defensively, rebounding, and uh, you know help us around the basket. Mackenzie Doan, a guard senior, a uh, good slasher and penetrator. And then I got a couple juniors that were on the team as sophomores, and uh, Adam Barker and Jordan Cooper should help fill uh, round out. That probably would be the starting five. Well, this year, like we just want to get a war card kind of thing. We got to turn around what we did last year. We got to start playing how late with you know is known to play kind of thing. We got to do the little things right. We got to hustle, get every loose ball. Kind of playing on this year. Feel pretty happy. Okay. Uh, we're going to focus more on defense, a lot more than last year, and try to hit open shots more. We have a lot more leadership responsibilities this year, kind of thing. Like, our coach there was really stressing, like, we need to be on our teammates, kind of thing. Like, if you make a mistake, you know, instead of him telling them what they did wrong, like, us as seniors, we need to tell them, be like, hey, this is, we need you to do this right and help the team out. Yeah, it's just a big step up for the leadership role. I mean, we got to be more part of the team and get them to do what we want them to do. Yeah. And knowing that it's our last year that we know we have to be leaders, like I said, and it's our last year when we were some of us to run up the high school sports after this, so step it up. Well, most of our underclassmen this year like, have been with us the last couple of years. Like, Joe Cooper, I mean, most of them have been played with us before. Like, I don't remember exactly what I said last year, but and then Bob can shoot. We got a lot of good ball handers uh, with us, so hopefully they can step up and play big for us. Yeah, we're going to play a big goal on our team this year. We're going to have three seniors returning, and then Paul Salazar, which is a senior coming out, but he didn't play last year. So we're looking for a lot from our classmen to step up and give them things. One other classman I see that's going to probably help us a lot this year, Spencer Palmer, he's a freshman. He's going to learn a lot faster than anyone expected. He should do some good things for us this year. Okay, you talked about uh, trying to build on last year. How is last year's finish? Um, um, I guess motivator to help you guys going into this season. Yeah, last year's finish really kind of opened our eyes of what we can do. Like, we actually have potential compared to like, the beginning of the season last year. Like kind of just didn't know. And then after like coming out with a big win against Williamson last year at the end of the season, really it opened our eyes and how much we actually can do if we work hard at it. Yeah, it was, it was good for the team and good for all of our confidence. I mean, we realized that with hard work and playing hard, that we'll be. That carrying over will make us start the season off good. Uh, discipline, I think the season probably helped us the most. And, uh, starting off the season with discipline probably helped a lot throughout the season on defense and everything in practice. How about having uh, Coach Farrell back? Uh, how's that? Uh, um, how's that affected the team and uh, going into this season? I think it's a big motivator because everybody knows Coach Farrell. He's known for his basketball team. He's a great coach.
Yeah, it's definitely a good thing to have Coach Burrow back. He really brings a lot to the program that the one that we're going to be able to bring. He's going to push us in the right direction and make us get better and work harder and do all the things that are necessary right now that will make the team better. Uh, in middle school, we all like, worked up to Coach Burrow when we were like, excited to play for him. And that knowledge is back, I mean, we're all pretty happy. And we're all working hard in practice and stepping out, so we should help. Definitely going to bring a little bit of basketball back to how it was a few years ago.